overwhelmed. <laughs> Scientists believe that dogs as we know them first appeared about 15,000 years ago. So what exactly is happening in my brain as I spend an afternoon with man's best friend? I'm Shannon O'Dell and I'm a neuroscience PhD student and this is your brain on puppies. <laughs> Why do I feel the inescapable urge to pick it up, hold it close, and smush its dumb little face into my own? Science suggests that puppy's baby face-like features. <laughs> Science suggests that a puppy's baby-like features, such as a round face and large eyes, are able to trigger innate mechanisms of affection and caregiving. These characteristics are known as baby schema and are shown to activate reward circuits, such as the nucleus accumbens mediating feelings of attachment and reward. So. Bring on the puppies, huh? At a certain level, my brain may not be able to fully distinguish this pup from my own kid. Kisses for mom. Yes, kisses for mom. One fMRI study found that in adult human mothers, images of their children and images of their dogs activated overlapping areas of the brain. These overlapping areas included the amygdala, the medial orbital frontal cortex, and the putamen, aka the big players in reward and attachment. So yes, as far as my brain is concerned, this pup is kind of like my baby. You may notice that as I speak to these little guys, my voice is changing from that of a normal human to that of an annoying cartoon character. Oh yes, you're a good boy. You're a good boy. Yes, 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 yes. You might call it baby talk. Research suggests that this baby talk facilitates language learning and increases in cerebral activity in children. Similarly, puppies also seem to be more reactive to this type of speech, and it has been shown to modulate their behavior. Doesn't this make you want to pay attention to me? Yes. This makes you want to pay attention to me. Okay, but why exactly out of all animals are dogs man's best friend? How come I don't freak out when I see a bird or a snake? Like I do when I see a puppy. Yes, the reason may be the powerful hormone and neurotransmitter oxytocin. It's produced in the paraventricular nucleus of the hypothalamus and has been found to be crucial in pair bonding, social affiliation, and trust. Oxytocin is crucial in helping you feel more connected to the individuals you're around. One lab, no pun intended, has shown that looking into the eyes of dogs is correlated with an increased oxytocin release. So, just by staring into this little guy's eyes, this dog is solidifying its status as man's best friend. <laughs> this effect of puppies on my internal neurochemistry goes beyond oxytocin, as spending time with dogs has been shown to increase circulation in endorphins and dopamine, causing euphoria. Long day, stressed, I don't need a beer. I need a puppy. Yes, I need one of you guys. Okay, you get it. I love dogs. But do dogs love me back? What is a dog's brain on humans? The feeling, it appears, is mutual. When presented with the smell of its human owner, dog's brains show activation in the caudate, a region associated with reward and motivational state. Their brains may even be in tune with our own emotional state as studies have found that dogs are able to discriminate between happy and angry human faces. And doggy stress levels go up upon hearing human babies crying. It appears that dogs like us and feel for us. In conclusion, the research shows that spending time with dogs has a lot of benefits. I personally couldn't agree more. Thank you to the New York Bully Crew in Long Island for letting me spend the day with these adorable guys. All the dogs in this video are looking for a good home. So consider the benefits and look into adopting one of these very, very good boys. Yes, you're a very good boy. Yes, you're very good. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the page for more videos like this one. <laughs>